Ta-da! <clears throat> Welcome to this session. How are you all? Today, because many of you said British literature is very important, let us do British literature. I thought today we will do British literature. And I did one wonderful thing. Instead of wasting your time, I have typed a lot of the authors and works so that we can save time. Isn't that awesome? Good evening, everybody. Sorry. So, today is the third day of our test course. Major authors only. And we start with 20th century British literature today. We are not starting from Chaucer. We will do 19th and 20th century in detail. What do you think of that? Isn't that good? So many authors and works. We will cover as much as we can. Are you loving every day at 6 course, guys? You should give me suggestions to improve, okay? I am just a student who is studying with you. And I am just a beginner in YouTube. You should help me improve. 20th century authors. Do you know Joseph Conrad is an Edwardian realist? Edward, Joseph Conrad started writing in the Edwardian period along with other Edwardians like Rudyard Kipling, A.G. Wells, John Galsworthy, Arnold Bennett. I did not write everybody's names because I thought we will just cover like this. Uh, let us cover each of these authors one by one. Rudyard Kipling was born in 1865. Five in Bombay. Did you know that? Rudyard Kipling was born in Bombay. He lived in uh, India, worked in Burma, then went to the U UK. Rudyard Kipling, uh, not Burma, he uh, worked in, in, he lived in India first and then in the UK. And his early novels were failures. Uh, his major work is The Jungle Book, obviously. The Jungle Book and it is followed by Kim 1901. Isn't it? I am talking about Joseph Conrad's uh, contemporary Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling's short stories may be asked in net such as False Dawn. Rudyard Kipling's short stories can be asked in net. Wireless was asked once. Will you remember? I will add his contemporaries here. Conrad's contemporaries. Okay, Kipling. Jungle Book. Kim. Then, short stories. What are the short stories that I mentioned? Falls Dawn. Henna, wireless. Wireless, they have already asked about. Kidnapped. These are important short stories by Rudyard Kipling. Please look up uh, Rudyard Kipling also. Okay, and then he wrote Just, Sto Just So Stories. Just So Stories is short stories. Just So Stories. Puck of Pooks Hill. Park of Pooks Hill. Then, Barrack Room Ballads. Barrack Room Ballads, you know, right? Hey. Barrack Room Ballads, that is important. And he wrote The White Man's Burden and If. Many of you know these. The White Man's Burden and If. Important 
poems by Rudyard Kipling. And uh, poems I will write. Okay, guys. These are all uh, titles for you to look up. Because they might ask you. Then, A.G. Wells. What are the words by A.G. Wells? The time machine. In the time machine, time traveler is going to the future. He is going to 802, 11, um, 701. Year he is going is 802, 701. Do you know the year of publication of time machine? 1895. Then the war of the worlds. The war of the worlds. Then the island of Dr. Morrow. You know, right? Uh, this is about a Frankenstein-like scientist. He wrote Invisible Man. The Invisible Man is by uh, A.G. Wells. Without the Invisible Man, it is by Ralph Ellison. When the sleeper wakes. All of you know that I am basing all these lectures on the Encyclopedia na. If you want detailed notes, the best idea is to buy the encyclopedia, which is always available on discount. Just WhatsApp me and get the discount link. Just study. Then there are also other works like Love and Mr. Lewisham. Guys, let me remind you, Rudyard Kipling wrote science fiction on the one side. He also wrote about society. He wrote one a uh, new woman novel and veronica and veronica is a new woman novel before that he wrote another social novel tono bange tono bange and veronica kips these are all social novels by ag wells okay then one more i will write the new machiavelli the new machiavelli then many of you know that they have other contemporaries. Conrad's contemporaries include. Who are his contemporaries? John Galsworthy. Remember there are so many exams uh, where John Galsworthy is prescribed. In UP exam it was there. Uh, UPHESE I think. Then uh, Karnataka assistant professor exam. So, study John Galsworthy properly. He has written plays as well as novels. His plays include The Silver Box. What is the silver box in that play? It is a cigarette case. The Silver Box, Strife, Justice, The Skin Game, etc. These are all important plays, henna right, guys. Uh, strife is set in a company, Trinartha Tin Plate Works. And then there is Justice. Justice is about William Falder. William Falder is a junior clerk in Justice. He is stealing some money and he is arrested for it. Finally, he commits suicide. Justice is an important play because it led to the reform of solitary confinement. Will you remember everybody? Novels include the Fawcett Saga. The Fawcett Saga. Then Fawcett Saga has a sequel. The Modern, uh, a Modern Comedy. A Modern Comedy and the, en uh, and the end of the chapter. These are all novel series, okay? Novel, ah, he forged and stole money, correct? Injustice, Pradibha is telling us more details. For his girlfriend, Ruth, henna. Okay, these are all novel series. In Forsyth Saga, there are three novels and two interludes. Modern comedy also novel series. Other than John Galsworthy, there is Arnold Bennett. Arnold Bennett wrote about, which plays Arnold P Bennett wrote about? Stoke on Trent or the Potteries or Five Towns. Stoke on Trent or the Potteries, all same place, okay? Or Five Towns. 
that is what he wrote about arnold bennett his best novel is the old wives tale the old wives tale is arnold bennett's best known novel um then another important writer is ford maddox ford they will ask about these writers hena right guys ford maddox ford wrote the fifth queen trilogy parades and tetralogy listen everybody if you are a beginner use this presentation to study more if you are advanced person you this can be revision for you okay then there is em foster em foster what did he write he wrote uh, where angels fear to tread where angels fear to tread then what did he write a room with a view both these are partly set in italy a room with a view howards end then pass the pa a passage to india a passage to india then he wrote morris morris did you get it guys these are the a uh, important works by e m foster most of them wrote about um what can i say um uh, the problems of colonization the problems of colonization we did not talk talk at length about joseph conrad joseph conrad's first novel is almayer's folly 1895 and the nigger of the narcissus is a novel about a ship narcissus where uh i will write the protagonist here okay here there is a black man called james wait he is dying of tuberculosis hena kurtz and marlo are in heart of darkness lord jim is the story of Jim, who is called Tuan, Tuan is the uh, native word for Lord, and then Nostromo. Nostromo is the protagonist. Set in Costa Gayana. Set in Costa Gayana. Yes, guys. Uh, e. M. Foster also wrote aspects of the novel. Some of you were remi reminding me. here he talked about flat and round characters he talked about seven uh aspects of the novel he talked about seven aspects of the novel shall i ask you some questions in which uh, periodical was uh, heart of darkness serially published bolo in which periodical was heart of darkness serially published yes it is blackwoods magazine blackwoods magazine anima is telling me about a ship called patna in which novel do you have the ship called patna bolo in which novel do you have the ship called patna it is lord jim lord jim which of these novels is about a hoard of silver which of these novels is about a hoard of silver okay guys i will write years also 1895 almayer's folly nigger of the narcissus 1897 heart of darkness 1902 it was serially published in 1899 okay lord jim is in 1899 and nostromo is 1904 anything for you guys whatever you tell me i will do because i just want to help you and i want you to pass okay more novels are there typhoon have you heard of typhoon the secret agent then 
under western eyes tell me guys which is the novel under western eyes is based on which is the novel under western eyes is based on lakshmi raj uh, they will ask textual questions from here they will ask you to arrange chronologically very good very good many of you are revising and from encyclopedia doing well i'm proud of you under western eyes is based on crime and punishment under western eyes is based on crime and punishment he has written the shadow line shadow lines nahi hai the shadow line the rover the rover is also a work by another rover is there by afra ben afra ben okay did you get all this guys wonderful now oh radia kipling was there once more let us revise kipling the white man white man's burden uh, is a poem hai na then uh, ag wells time machine invisible man war of the worlds then john galsworthy's major plays it is written there i forgot about it uh then em foster's novels where angels fear to tread a room with a view howards and a passage to india shall i ask you some questions guys from em foster em foster also wrote celestial omnibus did you know that what is celestial omnibus tell me guys what is celestial omnibus tell me tell me what is celestial omnibus very important they have already asked in some exams many of you are telling me correct answer yes it is a short story the celestial omnibus is a short story very important okay then em for let me ask you a question um uh, lilia an english widow is a character in which novel lilia is a, a, a is an english widow in which novel lilia is in where angels fear to tread where angels fear to tread lucy honey church is the protagonist of which novel lucy honey church Lucy Honey Church is in a room with a view. Who, which are the three families in Howards End? Wilcoxes, Schlegels, and Bars. The Wilcoxes, Schlegels, and Bars. Who are the uh, characters in Passage to India? Dr. Aziz, Cyril Fielding, Adela Quester. Hena, guys, very good, very good. Now, what are the three parts of Passage to India? Bolo. The three parts of Passage to India are the mosque, the caves, and the temple. The mosque. the caves and the temple hai na very good then guys let us move on g b shaw great writer of the 20th century g b shaw born in 1856 one year before joseph conrad actually he was irish mrs warren's profession is about prostitution arms and the man is about um romance and war candida is subtitle a mystery let me ask you some more questions okay who is the new woman in mrs warren's profession who is the new woman in mrs warren's profession it is mrs kitty warren's daughter vivi what is vivi good at what is vivi good at bolo vivi is good at mathematics 
Vivi is good at mathematics. She has just graduated from college and uh, she is horrified to know about uh, her mother. Okay. Ar Arms and the man, the title is a satire on which other work? Arms and the man is a, sub a subtitle of which other? Uh, it, the, the title is taken from which work? It is taken from the Aeneid. It is taken from the Aeneid. Fabian Society uh, is a socialist society that G.B. Shaw was part of. It was founded by C Beatrice Webb and Sidney Webb. It uh, advocated slow change in society. Fabian Society uh, advocated slow change in society. Did you understand? Arms and the Man title is taken from the Aeneid. The Aeneid. What, in which country is Arms and the Man set? Arms and the Man is set in Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Eugene March Banks and James Morrill are characters in... I will type something, okay? Vivi is new woman. Then Blunchley. Major character, Blunchley. Candida. A mystery, it is called. And Eugene Marchbanks. And James Morrill are the other important characters. Who is the new woman in Man and Superman? The new woman in Man and Superman. And Whitefield is new woman in Man and Superman. Man and Superman is about life force. Man and Superman is about life force. Hena, Pygmalion, all of you know. Pygmalion, um, Henry Higgins, Colonel Pickering, Eliza Doolittle. Who first acted as Eliza in uh, Pygmalion? Who first acted as Eliza in Pygmalion? It is Mrs. Patrick Campbell. Mrs. Patrick Campbell. Okay. Um, Eliza is a Cockney speaking flower girl. Hena, a Cockney speaking flower girl. She is transformed into a, um, a duchess apparently. But only in appearance. So what is the... Patrick Campbell, at, uh, Mrs. Patrick Campbell acted in, on stage. Uh, Audrey Hepburn acted in the movie. Okay. Now, Pygmalion uh, is based on, uh, slightly based on a novel by Tobias Smollett. Peregrine Pickle. Peregrine Pickle. Right. St. John is the story of John of Arc. St. John is the story of John of Arc. Okay. Then J.M. Singe. J.M. Singe wrote many important plays. Riders to the Sea, the playboy of the Western world. The playboy of the Western world uh, depicted Irish people as negative. They, it showed Irish people as negative. So it led to playboy riots because... During the time of Irish nationalism, uh, this play depicted Irish people as the negative stereotype. Okay, guys? Very good. Many of you are saying very good English. Sorry, very good answers and points. Then, uh, it is written in the dialect of Ireland, Hiberno English. The playboy of the Western world is written in the Irish dialect called Hiberno English. Uh, J.M. Singe also wrote In the Shadow of the Glen. Shall I write, guys? Other place. In the Shadow of the Glen. Then the Aran Islands. That is not a play. The Well of Saints. The Well of Saints. The Aran Islands is not a play. It is another book. Will you remember guys all these things? 
riders to the sea is also set in the Aran Islands. Yes, very good. Did you like the video, guys? Is it okay? Is it helping you? I hope I'm not boring you or wasting your time. Now, we have 20th century modernist literature, Hena. Before Virginia Woolf, we have uh, other writers like Dorothy Richardson also. Dorothy Richardson wrote The Pilgrimage. The Pilgrimage, yes. Many of you are saying wonderful points. Thank you very much. Now, Virginia Woolf was born in the same year as James Joyce, 1882. She was the daughter of Leslie Stephen, wife of Leonard Woolf. Hannah, her first novel is The Voyage Out. Did you like it that I, I, I uh, typed some already so that we don't waste time? The Voyage Out, also called Melimbrosia. Here, she introduced Clarissa Dalloway. In Voyage Out, she introduced Clarissa Dalloway. Right. And uh, after that, she wrote Night and Day. These are all early novels. Her first experimental novel is Jacob's Room. Did you know Jacob's Room came in the same year as The Wasteland and Ulysses? Jacob's Room, 1922. And it is a modernist novel. Mrs. Dalloway, 1925. In this order, you should study, okay? Then you will remember. 1927 to the lighthouse. Will you remember, guys? Into the lighthouse. Who are the characters? Ramsay family, hai na? Ramsay family. Which are the three parts of to the lighthouse, Bolo? The three parts of to the lighthouse. The window. Time passes and the lighthouse. The window, time passes and the lighthouse. Wonderful. Orlando is subtitled a biography. Orlando, a biography. Then she wrote The Waves in 1931. It was published. The Waves came in 1931. It is a very highly symbolic work. Presenting the interior consciousness of six characters. Will you remember? The Waves is a highly modernist novel. Presenting the stream of consciousness of six characters. Okay. Flush, she wrote after this. This was a highly complicated novel. So, to get relief from the complication, she wrote Flush. What is Flush? Flush is... The, or, uh, the biography of a dog belonging to the Brownings. And then she wrote The Years. The Years is 1937. The Years, 1937. It is Virginia Woolf's longest novel. Ah, and after that came Between the Acts. That is her last novel. Between the Acts, 1941. Guys, those who have encyclopedia, did you benefit from it? Were you able to study more because of the encyclopedia? I know. Thank you, guys. I am also studying from it. A room of one's own is like a, um, you know, manifesto of feminism. It is hailed as the feminist Bible. Isn't it? A room of one's own and its sequel is what? Three guineas. A room of one's own and three guineas. Wonderful. She has written so many essay collections. A lot of essay collections. Essays and essay collections. Will you remember? Essay collections also look, look up. They are very important. Okay. Then James Joyce, born in the same year, 1882. James Joyce wrote a short story collection called Dubliners, published in 1914. Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man was published two years later, 1916. Isn't it? And uh, then came Ulysses in 1922. Ulysses came in 1922. Then came Finnegan's Wake. Finnegan's Wake is his last novel. 
it is a very complicated novel published in the same year as um, the first the second world war began published in the same year as the second world war began okay Vinigan's Wake is a very confusing novel. How many stories are there in Dubliners Bolo? Let me ask you more questions. There are 15 short stories. In Dubliners, there are 15 short stories. Portrait of, of the artist as a young man is about Stephen Daedalus. Portrait of the artist as a young man is about Stephen Daedalus. Ulysses, who are the characters? Leopold Bloom, Molly Bloom, and Stephen Daedalus. Leopold Bloom, Molly Bloom, and Stephen Daedalus. W what is the family in Finnegan's Wake Bolo? Yerwicker family. Finnegan's Wake, Wake has Ear Wicker family. Will you remember, guys? Ear Wicker family. Okay. Then D.H. Lawrence, very important writer, 1885 born. <clears throat> His first novel, first published novel is The White Peacock. That was in 1911. So, now, um, Jane Austen's first published novel, 1711. D.H. Lawrence's first published novel, 1911. Sons and Lovers, 1913. <coughs> 1913, Sons and Lovers. The Rainbow and Women in Love were actually companion novels. The Rainbow and Women in Love were companion novels. Rainbow came in 1915 and Women in Love came in 1920. The Rainbow and Women in Love were companion novels. And then there was The Plumed Serpent. The Plumed Serpent came in. The, there are three novels. Uh, <clears throat> Kangaroo, Aaron's Rod, The Plumed Serpent. Lady Chatterley's Lover was banned. All these are very major authors. Please remember to look up extra about them, okay? You will definitely pass exams then. 1928-1960, he made studies of Thomas Hardy, then Walt Whitman, then Freudian psychology. These are all important works. And D.S. Lawrence wrote short stories. Plays and poetry. All these he wrote. He was an amazing writer. But he died at the age of 44. Okay guys. Will you remember? Let me ask you some questions. The piano. What is the piano? The piano. The piano. The piano is a poem. The piano is a poem. A Collier's Friday Night. A Collier's Friday Night. What is this? It is a play. Collier's Friday Night is a play. Mornings in Mexico. Sea and Sardinia. Twilight in Italy. What are they? Mornings in Mexico, Sea and Sardinia, Twilight in Italy. They are travelogues. So he has written apart from this travelogues also. So short stories, plays, poetry, travelogues. Ezra Pound. Ezra Pound had a slogan. What was the slogan, you know? Make it new. Ezra Pound's slogan was, make it new. Ezra Pound wanted writers to reject traditional forms. 
Did you understand? His early works are Ripostas. Ripostas actually came first. Ripostas. Uh, it was the first images collection. Ripostas was the first images collection. Then he wrote Cantos. Hugh Selvin Mobley. He was associated with starting Vorticism. Vorticism. Will you remember all this, guys? And uh, he was um, caged during the Second World War because he supported Italy. He was put in a cage during the Second World War. Did you understand? Wow, that was Ezra Pound. Ezra Pound edited The Wasteland, of course. There are other works by Ezra Pound. What are they? Prose works have na bolo. A B C of reading. And now A B C of reading. Then a retrospect. A B C of reading. A retrospect. And uh, images to anthology was this. Image is this. It is not by Ezra Pound alone. It is an anthology. Anthology means poems by different people will be there. Okay, guys. Very good. Now shall we move on and talk about the next important writer. I have given you all the important names here. Um, the Wasteland. Before the Wasteland, he wrote the love song of J. Alfred Proof Rock. The love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. It is his first poem. He was an American, but he came and lived in England. Then the Wasteland, Gerontian, and you know, Gerontian, the Hollow Man. Did you like it that I have typed everything already? I just did not want to waste our time. This is better, isn't it? Her wasteland has five parts. I have made videos on all this. I hope you have watched it. The wasteland has five parts. Where was the wasteland first written, first published? It was first published in the Criterion. The wasteland was first published in the Criterion. Then, uh, the Hollow Men is a nice poem. You, if you, if possible, you should read it. Gerontian is spoken by an old man. Gerontian is spoken by an old man to a young boy. Hollow Men title is taken from Julius Caesar. Okay, guys, there are two epigraphs to Hollow Men. Mister Kutz, he dead, and a penny for the old guy. Mister Kutz, he dead, and a penny for the old guy. The Journey of the Magi is a con uh, poem about his own Journey of the Magi and Ash Wednesday are poems about his own conversion. Journey of the Magi and Ash Wednesday. Then the four quartets are there. E Burned Norton, East Coker, Dry Salvages, Little Beginning. Yes, Annette. First published in Criterion Wasteland and then in Dial. Four quartets are Burnt Norton, East Coker, sorry, East Coker, Dry Salvages, and Little Gidding. Burnt Norton, East Coker, Dry Salvages, and Little Gidding. Okay. And uh, these are all very religious poems, okay? Journey of the Magi, Ash Wednesday, uh, Four Quartets, these are all very religious poems. Sweeney Agonistus is a verse play, okay guys? It is a verse play, Sweeney Agonistus. And uh, Murder in the Cathedral, 1935, very important verse play. Family Reunion, Cocktail Party, Confidential Clerk. An elder statesman. These are other important plays. Verse plays they are. Verse plays. 
Shall I ask you some questions, guys? Where was Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock published? Where was Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock published? In the ma American magazine Poetry. In the American magazine Poetry. Um, where is the title The Wasteland taken from? Where is the title The Wasteland taken from? And Sanjana, I was going to ask that question. The Wasteland title is, title is taken from Jesse Westerns from Ritual to Romance. Jesse Westerns from Ritual to Romance. Then, which is um, called Eliot's Conversion Poem? Which is called Eliot's Conversion Poem? It is Ash Wednesday. It is called his Conversion Poem. Then, Fragments of an Aristophrenic Melodrama. Fragments of an Aristophrenic Melodrama. Which work is subtitled thus? Fragments of an Aristophrenic Melodrama. It is Sweeney Agonistus. Sweeney Agonistus is subtitled Fragments of an Aristophanic Melodrama. In which of these works do we have four nights? In which of these works do we have four nights? And four tempters. It is in Murder in the Cathedral. Murder in the Cathedral. Very good. Are you able to remember everything, guys? Then, um, which is the shortest section of the wasteland? Shortest section of the wasteland. It is death by water. Death by water. The epigraph of the poem, the wasteland, is in which language? The epigraph of the poem, the wasteland, is in which language? It is, the epigraph is in Greek and Latin. The epigraph of the poem, The Wasteland, taken from Petronius' Satyricon. It is in Greek and Latin. Will you remember? Okay. Aldous Huxley. Aldous Huxley was a, also a modernist. His first novel was Chrome Yellow. Debut novel. Did you know that the character... Which character is introduced? Madame Sosostris. Madame Sosostris of in the wasteland is taken from Chrome Yellow. Aldous Huxley's many novels are there. But the most famous novel is his dystopian novel of 1932. That is... The Brave New World. Dystopian novel of 1932. Brave New World. Okay. Alice Axley's other works bolo. Sabhi. Sabhi log bolo. Alice Axley wrote Antic Hay. Point Counterpoint. Those Barren Leaves. Hena. And he has written other dystopian novels. Ape and Essence, Ape and Essence and The Island, Estonian it seems, Dystopian, Brave New World is there, then Ape and Essence is there, sorry guys, then The Island, Ape and Essence and the Island. Then W. H. Auden. He belonged to the Auden group, the 30s poets, Pyland poets, Hena. W. H. Auden wrote The Orators and English Study, Homage to Cleo, The Shield of Achilles. Yes, many of you are saying very important points. Very good. W. H. Auden uh, went to Oxford like all his contemporaries. 
W. H. Auden was bisexual. He wrote industrial imagery. W. H. Auden uh, was a classical poet. He upheld classicism. The Unknown Citizen, September 1, 1989, in memory of W. B. Yeats. Uh, so many important works are there. Muse de Boards. I will write his poems here. Are you ready? Muse de Boards, The Unknown Citizen. September 1, 1939. In memory of W.B. Yeats, etc. Now, who are his contemporaries? Who are Auden's contemporaries? I will write here. Stephen Spender, Cecil Day-Lewis, Louis McNeese, Christopher Richard They are the 30s poets. Hena guys. Very good. Then tell me. John Osborne. He is the uh, main figure in Angry Young Man Movement. John Osborne is the main figure in Angry Young Man Movement. Other Some other writers are also there. Other contemporaries, other novelists, I will write one. Other novelists of this time. Somerset Mom. Bolo, the, Somerset Mom's works. Lisa of Lambeth, of Human Bondage, uh, which is his work, uh, was set in India. Title is taken from Kathovanishad. It is the Razor's Edge, Moon and Sixpence. Then there is Evelyn War. Then Graham Green. Graham Green wrote Catholic novels. Evelyn War also wrote Catholic novels, which are the um, Catholic novels of Graham Green. Graham Green's Catholic novels include Brighton Rock. The Power and the Glory, The Heart of the Matter, The End of the Affair. And Graham Greene also wrote spy novels. Yes, uh, Somerset Mom wrote Man with a Scar. Very good. Man with a Scar. Then, Angry Young Man Movement. Angry Young Man Movement includes John Osborne. John Osborne wrote the famous play Look Back in Anger. Tell me the year in which Look Back in Anger was written. Look back in anger, 1956. The Entertainer, Luther. Very important works by John Osborne. They are all plays by John Osborne. Look back in anger has three characters. The four characters, Demi Porter, Alison, Cliff and Helena. Demi Porter, Alison, Cliff and Helena. Wonderful. Then, um... The entertainer, what is the name of the protagonist? Archie Rice. Archie Rice is the entertainer. Music hall is declining at this time. And now, uh, I will just... I will add one slide and say, Other poets. Tell me other poets. Dylan Thomas. Who belonged to New Apocalypse Movement. Hena. Then Ted Hughes. Then Seamus Heaney. Dylan Thomas, Ted Hughes, Seamus Heaney. Um, Tom Gunn. Before that, Philip Larkin. Tom Gunn, Philip Larkin, they belong to Movement Poets. Movement Poets. Shall I ask you some questions? I will say the name of the work. You tell me the author. Okay. Ready? Full Moon and Little Frida. 
full moon and little frida bolo full moon and little frida who is the author full moon and little frida is by ted hughes ted hughes then next please next please bolo i'm going to ask you questions and who who of these writers wrote next please next please is by philip larkin then the map of love short story collection the map of love The Map of Love is a short story collection by Dylan Thomas. The Map of Love and The Portrait of the Artist as a Young Dog. Both are by Dylan Thomas. Then, let me ask you another question. Who coined the term movement? Who coined the term movement? Bolo. Who coined the term movement? Bolo. It is J. D. Scott. J. D. Scott coined the term movement. Then, man with night sweats. Bolo, who wrote the man with night sweats? It is Tom Gunn. Tom Gunn wrote the man with night sweats. Then tell me punishment. who wrote the poem punishment <coughs> punishment is by shemas heeni it is one of the bog poems shemas heeni now let us talk about samuel beckett samuel beckett is the author of waiting for godo end game happy days waiting for godo end game happy days hena and he first wrote in french he first wrote in french you should know the details of waiting for godo they might ask in which of these plays do you have ham and clove bolo in which of these plays do you have ham and clove Ham and Claw are in End Game. In which of these uh, plays do you have? Winnie, a housewife, buried uh, in mud. Winnie, a housewife, buried in mud. It is in Happy Days. Yes, Crap's Last Tape is also by Samuel Beckett. What are the novels by Samuel Beckett? Tell me the names of the novels by Samuel Beckett. His first novel is Murphy. Then Molloy, Malone dies, and the Unnameable. Molloy, Malone dies, and the Unnameable. Important. Um, play and uh, novels then there is one play uh, novel called what there are also poems etc okay then harold pinter harold pinter also wrote absurd plays comedy of menace hai na his works are called comedy of menace have you heard comedy of menace in which of these plays uh Do you have Stanley Weber? In which of these plays do you have Stanley Weber? Stanley Weber is in the bird birthday party. The birthday party. In which of these plays do you have a food lift going up and down? A food lift going up and down. it is the dumb waiter it is the dumb waiter in which of these uh plays do you have a 
tramp called Davies. In which of these plays do you have a tramp called Davies? It is in the caretaker. In which of these plays do you have a protagonist heroine called Ruth? It is in homecoming. Homecoming. Very good. Tom Stoppard. Where is Tom Stoppard originally from? Czechoslovakia. Tom Stoppard is originally from Czechoslovakia. Hena. And uh, what are his major works? Rosengrantz and Guildenstern are dead is important. It is based on Hamlet. Other major works? Travesties. Arcadia. Have good. Indian Ink. Did you know Indian Ink is based on, is set in India? Tom Stoppard's Indian Ink is set in India during Dandi March or Salt Satyagraha. Did you know that? Wow. The Real Inspector Hound. Very good. The Real Inspector Hound also by Tom Stoppard. One important playwright we missed out. That is Edward Bond. Edward Bond Bolo, what did he write? Very, very important. First play is the Pope's Wedding. Guys, if you, if you want the PPT, free PPT, this PPT, you can join our WhatsApp group. You know that. I mean, Telegram group. You know that, now. Telegram link and uh, free PPT, ke, uh, free PDF ke liye. Just WhatsApp me. 9037357688. Will you remember? Thank you guys. Then, the Pope's wedding. Then there is saved. Saved is a play where there is violence on stage. A baby is stoned to death in a pram. Yes, bingo, where Shakespeare is the protagonist. Bingo, Na, the bundle. Lear, these are all prescribed. Lear, these are all important plays. He uses violence in his plays. Then, Carol Churchill is the author of Top Girls, Soft Cops, Serious Money. Top Girls, Soft Cops, Serious Money. These are works by Carol Churchill. Carol Churchill used uh, dance, drama, many techniques she used in her uh, no, uh, socialism. Socialism is a theme. Sorry guys. Then George Orwell, we are going to talk about the, uh, play, uh, the novelist. George Orwell, everybody knows Animal Farm, 1984. Let me ask you some questions. Uh, in which novel do we have Winston Smith? Winston Smith is in 1984. What is Winston Smith's job? Winston Smith's job is to rewrite historical documents. And uh, which is the work by... George Orwell set in Burma. Before this he wrote. Down and out in Paris and London. Then Burmese days. The clergyman's daughter. Keep the aspidistra flying. So many works, eh, na? Yes. Nirmal Pandya, Saturday night and Sunday morning is uh, Alan Silito. Alan Silito. Then, William Golding. His first novel is Lord of the Flies. William Golding's first novel, Lord of the Flies, which year? 1954. 1954. The Inheritors. C Trilogy. This is? Post-apocalyptic. 
The C trilogy is post-apocalyptic. Lord of the Flies, The Inheritors is about Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. Ha, Lear, Tolstoy and the Fool is there. Yes. Lear, Tolstoy and the Fool is there. Correct. George Orwell. Then guys, um, then uh, let, let me ask you, who wrote Rites of Passage? What are the C trilogy novels? Rites of Passage. Close Quarters. And Fire Down Below. These are the three novels of the uh, C trilogy. Who wrote Malayan trilogy? It is Anthony Burgess. Malayan trilogy is Anthony Burgess. What are the three novels? Time for a Tiger, Enemy in the Blanket, and Beds in the East. Hena, Clockwork Orange is there. Then he wrote a book about Shakespeare. Nothing like the sun. It is about Shakespeare. Which is the book he wrote about? Marlowe. Dep Dead Man in Deptford. It is about Marlowe. What is the book he wrote about? Keats. This is the book he wrote about Keats. Anthony Burgess, very important writer, Hannah Anthony Burgess. Doris Lessing, she wrote The Grass is Singing. Where is Grass is Singing set? Rhodesia. The Grass is Singing is set in Rhodesia. Then she wrote Children of Violence series. Children of Violence series. Very good. The Golden Notebook is the story of Anna Wolf. It is a typical postmodern novel. A.S. Byatt wrote Possession. It has a Victorian setting, Hana. It has a Victorian setting. Julian Barnes, contemporary writer Julian Barnes, is the author of Flaubert's Parrot, The Sense of an Ending. Sense of an Ending got Booker Prize. Booker Prize. Uh, Jan McEwan, Amsterdam, Atonement, Saturday, Solar is about climate change. It is Cli-Fi. His first novel is The Cement Garden. The Cement Garden is his first novel. So many important authors we are talking about. Hilary Mandel. Every day is Mother's Day, Wolf Hall and Bring Up the Body is both got Booker Prize. These three are called Thomas Cromwell Trilogy. Thomas Cromwell Trilogy, Wolf Hall, Bring Up the Body is The Mirror and the Light. Important works. Other important works. Um, Kingsley Amis, Muriel Spark, Iris Murdoch, John Fowles, J.G. Ballard. All these you should look up, okay? Those who want PDF, just WhatsApp me and then you will get a Telegram link. Just follow the Telegram link and you will get all the PDF there. Alright guys. Now, contemporary writers. I have just given you a list. Just remember, these are all important writers. Contemporary British fiction. Please read extra if you can. They go, 19th century writers. Can we... Check out quickly. Are you tired? Are you tired? Or will you just take the PDF? Or you want to check out? I think I will just give you the PDF. These All these writers are there. These writers are there. You can take the PDF from the uh, Telegram group. And then just look through and add more. Okay. 19th century. Bonus for your, you can add on your own. Alright, because it's 11 o'clock, many of you will be tired. So, take the PDF from the WhatsApp, the Telegram group. WhatsApp me and get the PDF. 
uh, and study okay see you tomorrow i will do american and other literatures american australian etc tomorrow and uh, then i will do literary theory all right last day we'll do literary theory cultural studies in the crash course okay you are not tired i think you uh, so, so many of you are leaving <laughs> okay i will do in 10 15 minutes quickly dekho i will just ask you questions okay i will ask you questions because some of you are saying do then i will just ask you some questions from here starting from william wordsworth ready guys uh what is the group of 132 sonnets that william wordsworth wrote okay okay continuing what is the uh group of 132 sonnets that william wordsworth wrote about the catholic question bolo the group of 132 sonnets that william wordsworth wrote about the catholic question it is the ecclesiastical sonnets ecclesiastical sonnets okay when was the prelude first published in 13 books when was the prelude first published in 13 books the prelude was first published in 13 books in 1805 and it was published in the present form 14 books in 1850 uh words were wrote about a little boy a group of poems about a little boy what are they called those poems are called what those poems are called they are called matthew poems matthew poems will you remember matthew poems then uh the prelude was originally a part of which book the prelude was originally part of which book the prelude was part of the prelude was part of okay okay i will do i will do a uh, prelude is part of the recluse the recluse will you remember then let me ask you questions from coleridge um in which poem by coleridge do you have a character called hermit in which poem by coleridge do you have a character called hermit it is yes the rhyme of the ancient mariner in which poem by coleridge is he addressing his infant son in which poem by coleridge is he addressing his infant son it is frost at midnight frost at midnight in which conversation poem does coleridge talk about one life in which conversation poem does coleridge talk about one life the eolian harp the eolian harp coleridge wrote remorse what is it coleridge wrote remorse what is it it is a play what is the play by um wordsworth which is the only play by wordsworth it is the borderers the borderers what was the name coleridge was called towards the end of his life what was the name coleridge was called towards the end of his life sage of high gate now let me ask about lord byron lord byron whom did lord byron attack in uh, the vision of judgment the vision of judgment sade 
How many parts are there or cantos are there in Child Harold's pilgrimage? There are four cantos. What did Byron, which work of Byron did he call epic satire? Which work of Byron did he call epic satire? It is Don Yuan. Don Yuan. Tell me, which is the poem about Dante written by Byron? Which is the poem about Dante uh, written by Byron? It is the prophecy of Dante. The prophecy of Dante. Next, I'll talk to you about P.B. Shelley. P.B. Shelley. Tell me. Uh, Leon and Sitna by P.B. Shelley was later reworked as Dash. Leon and Sitna by P.B. Shelley was later reworked as Dash. Reworked as the revolt of Islam. Which is the poem by Shelley about Maimosa Pudica? Which is the poem by Shelley about Maimosa Pudica? It is the sensitive plant. The sensitive plant. Which is the play by Shelley where he talks about a daughter getting her father killed? A daughter getting her father killed. It is the Chenchi. It is the Chenchi. What is the periodical started by Byron, Shelley and Lee Hunt? What is the periodical started by Byron, Shelley and Lee Hunt? It is the liberal. Uh, Asia is a character in which work by Shelley. Asia is a character in which work by Shelley. It is the closet drama Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus Unbound. Now on John Keats. Uh, which work by Keats is subtitled a poetic, poetic romance? Which work by Keats is subtitled a poetic romance? It is Endymion, 1818. Endymion uh, begins with which line? What is the first line of Endymion? It is, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Why did I laugh tonight is a dash by Keats. Why did I laugh tonight is a dash by Keats. It is a sonnet. It is a sonnet. Now, uh, how many great odes did Keats write in the year 1819? How many great odes did Keats write in the year 1819, six great odes, which is Keats's unfinished epic. Two are there, Hyperion and Fall of Hyperion. Hyperion and Fall of Hyperion. Uh, Ivanhoe's, Walter Scott's Ivanhoe is said during the reign of which king? Said during the reign of Richard the Lionheart. Richard the Lionheart. Uh, Kenilworth is set in which period? Kenilworth is set in Elizabethan England. Elizabethan England. Eleanor and Marianne was later renamed. Eleanor and Marianne later renamed. Sense and sensibility. Sense and sensibility. Lady Catherine de Burgh is a character in. Lady Catherine de Burgh is a character in. Pride and prejudice. Pride and prejudice. 
Lady Bertram is a character in Lady Bertram is in Mansfield Park. Who praised Jane Austen for her exquisite touch that renders ordinary commonplace things and characters interesting? Who praised Jane Austen for her exquisite touch that renders ordinary commonplace which poem by Alfred Tennyson? Do you have the song Tira Lira by the River? In which of these poems do you have the song Tira Lira by the River? It is the Lady of Shallot. It is the Lady of Shallot. It is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. It is a line from it is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. It is a line from In Memoriam. Can you hear me guys? It is a line from In Memoriam. Which is the poem that Tennyson wrote about? An Indian king, Mughal king. Which poem did Tennyson write about a Mughal king? It is Akbar's dream. Akbar's dream. Who wrote the cry of the children? The cry of the children. It is Elizabeth Barrett Browning. The cry of the children is Elizabeth Barrett Browning. In which book by Robert Browning is a 14-year-old silk winder, the character. A 14-year-old silk winder is a character. In which work? In Pippa Passes. Pippa Passes. In which work do you have the character Romney? In which character? In which work do you have the character Romney? It is in Aurora Lay. Aurora Lay. And then Matthew Arnold. Matthew Arnold. Which work of Matthew Arnold did he himself criticize? Which work of Matthew Arnold did he himself criticize? It is Empedocles on Etna. Which famous work by Matthew Arnold was originally published as the introduction? To T.H. Ward's anthology, The English Poets. Which work by Matthew Arnold was originally published as The Introduction to T.H. Ward's anthology, The English Poets. It is the essay, The Study of Poetry. The Study of Poetry. Will you remember, guys? I hope you have all liked the video. Will you please remember to like the video? Then... Wow! In which year was the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood formed? 1848. What is the periodical of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, Brotherhood called? The germ. The periodical of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood is the germ. In which year was Vanity Fair published? Vanity Fair. 1847. Same year as Jane Eyre and... Wuthering Heights. Ta -da -da okay, I'm going to ask you uh, characters. You tell me the names of the play, of the novel. Mulberry Hawk. Tell me. Mulberry Hawk. Mulberry Hawk is in Nicholas Nickleby. Hannah. Then, Marky St. Evermond. Marky St. Evermond. Where is Marky St. Evermond from? It is a tale of two cities. Charles Darnie's uncle. Then, which two novels were published in Master Humphrey's Clock? Which two novels were published in Master Humphrey's Clock? The Old Curiosity Shop and Barnaby Rudge. Then, Sam Weller, character in Sam Weller, character in Pickwick Papers. 
Noah Claypole character in Noah Claypole character in Bolo Oliver Twist Oliver Twist then Stephen Blackpool character in Stephen Blackpool Hard Times Hard Times Okay, very good. Then Bronte sisters. Which of these novels is a condition of England novel? Which of these novels is a condition of England novel? It is Shirley. Shirley. Mrs. Reed is a character in Mrs. Reed. Jane Eyre. What is the opening word of Wuthering Heights? What is the opening word of Wuthering Heights? Many of you are answering correctly. I am so proud of you. Opening word of Wuthering Heights is 80 not 1. 80 not 1. Then, let me in, let me in, who says? Which character? Let me in, let me in, who says? It is Kathy. Kathy. Which work by Carol Phillips? We did that yesterday. Which work by Carol Phillips is modeled on Wuthering Heights? Carol Phillips is the lost child. The lost child. Wonderful. They go George Eliot. Uh, which of these novels is set in the place called Ravelo? Which of these novels is set in the place called Ravelo? It is Silas Mana. In which of these novels do you have Dorothea Brook and Tertius Lidgate? Dorothea Brook and Tertius Lidgate are characters in which of these novels? They are characters in Middlemarch. Middle March. Which of these novels is set in Hayslop? Hayslop. It is Adam Bead. Adam Bead. Very good. Wow. Which of these novels has depicts the death of a horse named Prince? Death of a horse named Prince. It is. Tests of the Devils. Which of these novels depicts a fermity shop? A fermity shop. It is Mayor of Casterbridge. Which of these novels depicts uh, a skimity ride? Skimity ride. Again, Mayor of Casterbridge. Which of these novels depict the killing of a pig? The killing of a pig. It is Jude the Obscure. Jude the Obscure. Which of these novels depict uh, a man displaying a uh, sp 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 swordsmanship? It is Frank Troy in Far From the Madding Crowd. We, we read extra, okay? If I went too fast, read extra. And then Henry James. Which of these is a gothic work? It is Turn of the Screw. Turn of the Screw. What is the name of the protagonist in The Portrait of a Lady? Portrait of a Lady protagonist is Isabel Archer. What is the name of the narrator in Ambassadors? Ambassadors. Narrator is Lambert Strether. Unreliable narrator. Look at all the poems by W.B. Yeats. Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. What is the name of the artist or painter in the picture of Dorian Gray? It is Basil Hallward. Basil Hallward. Um, what is uh, Algernon eating? At the beginning of importance of being earnest. 
What is Algernon eating? Cucumber sandwiches. He's eating cucumber sandwiches. Hena and uh, next. Uh, Pied Beauty is what kind of a sonnet? Pied Beauty is what kind of a sonnet? Pied Beauty is a Kirtel sonnet. Pied Beauty is a Kirtel sonnet. So that brings us to the end of this session. Thank you very much. Tomorrow we will deal with all the important um, words. American, Indian mostly. Okay. American and Indian mostly. After that, uh, criticism and theory. And after that, I will do th theory properly. Okay, don't worry. I will do theory properly again. Uh, I will look, um, you know, crash course on literary theory. What do you say? Next, I will do crash course on literary theory. Please like the video and share. Okay, guys. And I will surely give you discount if you WhatsApp me. So, WhatsApp me. Get the Telegram link. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.